Queen Elizabeth II was reputed to one of the richest women in the world. But how much did she really have? And where did the monarch really get her money? What was Queen Elizabeth II's net worth? Queen Elizabeth II had a vast amount of personal wealth that she inherited from her father King George VI. This was a source of her independent wealth that did not come from British taxpayers, though much of it did come from colonization and profiting off of the invasion of foreign countries. Amassed in her portfolio of assets are properties that include Balmoral Castle, $140 million, and the Sandringham Estate, $65 million, fruit and stud farms and marine land across the UK, and her personal jewelry collection. She inherited some assets from her mother's $94 million estate when the Queen Mother died in 2002, which included priceless works of art, Faberge eggs, jewelry and horses. The Queen also inherited a lot of her late husband Prince Philip's estate, thought to be worth $30 million. Then there's the annual sovereign grant, an allowance that the government provided to the Queen based on profits from the Crown estate, a collection of lands and holdings in the United Kingdom belonging to the British monarch. In 2020 the profits from the Crown estate were $475 million, of which the royal family got 25%. The Queen did have another source of personal wealth, the Privy Purse, which is passed down from sovereign to sovereign. Its funding comes from the Duchy of Lancaster, a vast collection of landholdings including 45,700 acres of farmland in North England in the land on which London's Savoy Hotel is located. Town and Country reported that in 2020 profits from the Duchy of Lancaster hit a record $30 million. All in all, the Queen's personal net worth was estimated to be anywhere between $447 million to $500 million to $600 million, depending on the source. Who is the richest queen in the world? Queen Elizabeth II was the richest queen in the world, but she was not the richest monarch. That honor goes to Sultan Hassanal Bolkiah of Brunei, whose net worth is estimated at $30 billion. How much is the royal family worth? According to Forbes, the firm is worth an eye-watering $28 billion when various properties that belong to the monarch but cannot be sold are taken into account. They include the Crown Estate, worth $19.5 billion, Duchies of Cornwall and Lancaster, $1.3 billion and $748 million respectively, and Kensington Palace, $630 million, where Prince William, Duchess Kate and their children occupied apartment 1A. Queen Elizabeth's Ascension to the Throne Born on April 21, 1926, Princess Elizabeth of York was the firstborn of the Duke and Duchess of York, who later became King George VI and Queen Elizabeth I in her early royal role, she took on public duties during World War II, and, in 1947, she married Prince Philip Mountbatten, who was an heir to Greece and Denmark. They were married for 73 years. They welcomed four children together, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. When Elizabeth's father, George VI, passed away in 1952, she became Queen of England at just 25 years old and was officially crowned a year later, the first royal ceremony to ever be televised per celebrity net worth, having served for 70 years and 7 months, Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning monarch and arguably one of the most recognized royals around the globe. How much is the Queen's stamp collection worth? You may be surprised to know that one of the Queen's most valuable assets was the world's oldest stamp collection, which she inherited from her grandfather. The Royal Philatelic Collection's estimated worth is $134 million. How much is Buckingham Palace worth? Buckingham Palace is one of the most valuable homes occupied by the royal family, estimated to be worth $4.9 billion. A study found that it would take the average British home buyer 44,000 years to pay off a mortgage on the property. The 775-room palace is one of the assets that technically belonged to the reigning monarch, but is held in trust by the Crown Estate. Buckingham Palace will pass to King Charles following the Queen's death, with reports suggesting that he intends to turn it into a museum rather than live there himself. Does the British royal family pay taxes? The British royal family pays some taxes but avoids others levied on wealthy families in Britain. For instance, Charles will not pay inheritance taxes on the hundreds of millions in assets he will likely receive from Elizabeth. However, 
For others in Britain, any inheritance valued over $380,000 is slapped with a 40% tax. Similarly, the royal family does not have a legal obligation to pay the country's capital gains tax or income tax, according to a Memorandum of Understanding on Royal Taxation, published by the government in 2013. Charles, however, has voluntarily paid a 45% income tax on money he has taken in from the Duchy of Cornwall. Other taxes paid by the royal family include capital gains and income taxes incurred by Elizabeth and Charles from their personal wealth. For decades, the two most powerful figures in the royal family have also paid such taxes on income from royal assets when those were not used in an official capacity.